Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Scorpios, thank you so, so much for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you guys so much. You make my day. You just don't know. I, everything just seems so dull and lackluster before I started reading tarot cards and interacting with like-minded energies like yourself, Scorpio. And it, you guys really inspire me. You, you help me. You help me to be myself as well as to give you the best that I can give to you so that we can grow spiritually together and heal any wounds that we may have occurred uh, through relationships that were not so kind to us Scorpios. Now, Scorpio, this reading is a your person's reading. What does your person, Scorpio, want you to know? So I'm using the... Uh, uh, What's the name? It's called Flame and Roses Confessions. These are some confessions, okay? Like us just said, these are your person's confessions, Scorpio. So I'm going to clarify these, but I pulled you a couple of cards through the Romance Angel Oracle cards to, to get more information on your person's energy and what they want you to know. So Scorpio, obviously you're not with this person. Uh, usually, you know, it's the same like ain't nobody together now. And if they are together, they're going through some type of turmoil in their relationship. <laughs> Scorpio song, Scorpio song, Scorpio song, but Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is a general, so it may or may not resonate with you, my lovelies. Just take the part that fits, discard the rest, because it only means that this is not your reading, Scorpio. Now, I am still offering personal readings, $45 for 30 minutes. If you're interested, check out the description box below, Scorpio. So Scorpio, the very first card on this table says healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents here so scorpio your parent your person here is obviously having some type of conflict within the dynamics of their family now this does not necessarily mean that it is their their immediate family it could be a a romantic family so to speak but it could also represent that your person is dealing with some type of issues because of their upbringing and they're needing to heal, uh, to forgive their parents or to heal some type of issues pertaining to their childhood, Scorpio, because it's affecting them now. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So whatever type of injustice that was done to your person, Scorpio, is still affecting them. But they're trying to heal those issues. They're trying to heal those issues, Scorpio. So if your person has treated you unfairly, which I'm sure they did. It was not personal. And I know, you know, you probably don't want to hear, but you probably need to hear this, Scorpio, because after all, Scorpio, your emotions, you're, you're the loving energy. Now, anyone can have a flip side because we all have the dark and the, the light side. But I feel like the universe is calling you to use your more emotional, uh, your, your more psychic, uh, intuitive side when, when you view your person, Scorpio. And it doesn't mean you want them back. But that's all a part of healing you as well, Scorpio. So if you look at it from a different perspective of why your person did the way that they, they did things, it's coming from a place of abandonment issues or some type of childhood issues that they endured when they were a child and they have yet to heal those things, Scorpio. So quite naturally, they're going to play out in their relationship. It's not just you. It's in any type of relationship that they're in. They're needing to heal some family issues because it's going to always show up. And then this person has deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. Scorpio, I tell you, the temperature be dropping at night sometimes. It's 30 some degrees at night. And then it's almost 80 degrees during the daytime. So your person is in this deception energy, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, I don't feel like they're being deceptive to you because... Like I say, most of these relationships, y'all not together anyway. This is within the dynamics of wherever they're at. They're not being their real authentic self. I feel like this person is going along to get along. So they, you know, act like everything is cool, you know, but deep down it's, it's, it's tormenting them. They're still broken, Scorpio. They're needing to heal some type of family issues here. So as a result, they don't, they probably don't even know who the hell they are, Scorpio. Because they're wearing a, a, a false self mask. They're wearing a, a, a mask here, a self mask here in this relationship because they may not know who they really are, Scorpio. They're too busy trying to please other people and be what they feel like their surrounding 
area or, or energies want them to be. Now, Scorpio, this card underneath the bottom of this deck says children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, Scorpio, this person here, like I say, either this person is in there, they need to heal. I feel like this is equal. This person, not only this person, probably in some type of dynamics with someone they don't want to be with. They're, they're hiding their true intentions because of children there. The children need them. Their, their love life is being affected by children because they can't really be happy. Because I feel like whoever they're with is always bringing up this child so they can't move freely. And especially, Scorpio, if they're healing some type of family issues because of when they were a child, then quite naturally, they're going to try to give their children things that they did not have as a child, even if it means sacrificing their own happiness, Scorpio, just to make sure their children don't have to go through what they went through here. So this is ultimately what they're going through, Scorpio. Now, when we get over here to the to the uh, gist of it all, Scorpio, these are the words from your person energetically because I pulled your energy. I set my intentions and these are the cards that I pulled. So the first card, Scorpio, and I'm going to clarify these, Scorpio. Now, this first card, Scorpio, it says, I realize that I do not. No, it says, I realize that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? Is it too late, Scorpio? <laughs> Scorpio like, hell yeah, it's too late. They better not ever, ever, ever say am thing to me again. That's why they on block. But they just want to know, is it too late? They they realizing some shit now, Scorpio. I mean, goddamn. You're going to have to forgive them, Scorpio. You don't have to be with them. You're not forgiving them because you're trying to be with them. You're forgiving them so that you can create good karma for yourself in the future. I'm telling you, that's how you get it. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's clarify this card here. It says, I realize that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? <laughs> clarify this card for Scorpio's person. What do they mean by this? Clarify this card, please. So this is clarified by the Hierophant Scorpio. They're like, look, I want a commitment. Is it too late? Is it too late to come get this commitment with you, Scorpio? Now, I realize now I... It took some it took some healing, some family issues and some things like that. But uh, is it too late, Scorpio, for this commitment here? Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio's person, please. Why is this card here? Clarify the Hierophant for Scorpio's person, please. The Hierophant, Scorpio, is clarified by the King of Pentacles. This could be, you could be dealing with the earth sign, Scorpio. You could be, or this person uh, is trying, is, is wanting to build a commitment with you and bring in stability and security with you, Scorpio. They're trying to give you what they did not give you in the past. They could not give you. And Scorpio, underneath the bottom of this deck, it says, I just have other responsibilities to take care of. So this person here, uh, and then the next card says, <laughs> This person is waiting on you to forgive, forgive, says waiting on you to forgive me. I promise I can change. This person has other priorities, Scorpio, and I feel like it's, it's to their children here. But I feel like energetically they want to be with you. But at the time they're stuck in this as usual. So let's check out this, this other card here. It says my past of how I was raised, see, affects how I act now in life. That is true. Especially if you and see most masculine, most masculine energies, they're ashamed. They're ashamed of their upbringing. They're ashamed of things that were that took place in their childhood. You have to understand if a lot of these masculines were, were raised up and they were not uh, properly taken care of, then, of course, it's going to cause some type of disadvantage in their life. But imagine if a, a lot of these masculines, not only did they not have the proper upbringing, but they could have been sexually compromised, then of course that's going to affect their life today and they're not going to open up. It's going to make them do the totally opposite. They're just going to self-sabotage anything that they have or anyone that's, that's around them. So my past of how I was raised affects how uh, how I act now in life. So what does this person mean, uh, creator? Clarify my past for a Scorpio's person, please. Clarify this card. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. 
either this person is, is working on themselves now or I feel like this person needs to do some type of uh, some type of spiritual work in their life here. Because like they say, their past uh, affects them. It affects their life now. It affects their life now, Scorpio. They can't even be real. They got to put on a, a, a front. They faking it till they make it, Scorpio. Because I feel like they don't even know who the hell they want to be. They don't know. They, they too busy pleasing other people. Clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Scorpio's person, please. See, you have the five of wands. So this is fussing. This is fighting. This is confusion. This is too much competition here. I feel like this person has a lot of inner conflict that they're needing to work against, that they're needing to work out. This is why this eight of pentacles is next to this card. They're needing to work out their inner conflicts. They have inner conflict and they're not going to work this out until they heal the root of it. And this is from the family issues here. They hold family issues. Whatever that was in their upbringing as a childhood is affecting every aspect of their life today. So this next card says, I don't think I can handle this anymore. I feel like this person is overworked. They don't want to be there. Wherever they're at, they don't want to be where they're at. But I feel like they're, they're tied to it because if, they, if they're making money, then of course they're, they're giving money. They're having to support their children. They probably grew up not having the, the, the basic necessities in order to thrive. And that, that can be damaging to a child. Not, not to mention other things that could have took place in this person's life. So I feel like this person is not being their true authentic self because they can't. They have to go with the flow while they're, while they're low-key desperately fiending for you, Scorpio, wishing that they would have been with you. But they're under a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, uh, mental anguish, anguish here. So I don't think I can handle this anymore. Your person is in a situation that they don't think they can handle anymore, Scorpio. Clarify this card for Scorpio's person, please. And they could be having conflict within the, with their child's parent or within their family dynamics. This could be outer conflict. Too, too many people always having to, to... This person could be working just to take care of other people. This person is working and every time you, you get paid, they have to take care of other people because there's too many people here. You got people all in this person's business. So I feel like this person don't know how to be themselves here. They can't be themselves. They got too many negative people around them. So this person, they don't think that they can handle this more. This person may is 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 energetically wanting to leave that connection and come to you, Scorpio, and offer you their heart. They need you to heal them, Scorpio. They they feel like you can heal them, even if it's just with your soothing, loving energy and your words, Scorpio. They need you. <laughs> Scorpio, like, well, where was they at when I needed them? Well, Scorpio, we're talking about your person today, okay? Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio's person, please. See? Clarify the Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. See, this is what this person needs. They need your loving energy, Scorpio. They're trying to come to you, but they're not coming to you. <laughs> they, it's like they're coming to offer you their, their cup, but but in their cup is, is wounded energy. They're not, they're not whole. They're not complete. They're coming to you with, with, with their burdens pretty much, Scorpio, in hopes that you can heal them some type of way with your loving, nurturing energy, Scorpio. Because right now... They're full of anxiety. They're, they're tired. They say, because we're clarifying, I don't think I can handle it anymore, Scorpio. This is what we're clarifying here. So this person wants to move away from this, but they still, but, but they can't. This person does not want to have this anxiety and be in their head where they, they're trying to, this person can't even, this person have not had a good night's sleep in maybe nine weeks, <laughs> nine days. This person ain't been sleeping good, Scorpio. So I feel like this person, the only thing that brings them any type of, of soothing energy is when they think about you, Scorpio, because they're not happy where they're at. Now, this next card, Scorpio, it says, I still have your pictures saved. They got your kitty pictures, Scorpio. They got your kitty pictures, honey. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, they got a picture of your pretty smile too, Scorpio, but they got a picture of your kitty, Scorpio. Clarify this card for Scorpio's person, please. This is what gives them hope, Scorpio. And see, this is what they're looking at. 
They're looking at you single and abundant and doing your thing. And it gives them anxiety because they like, damn, Scorpio getting the shit while I'm stuck and miserable. <laughs> this is what they're watching, Scorpio. They're looking at your picture and they're looking at you. They're looking at you shine and do your thing, Scorpio, is what they're doing. And this is why they're full of anxiety because they missed the opportunity with you, Scorpio. But it was all because of their family issues that they need to heal. Clarify this nine of pentacles for Scorpio's person, please. And how things ended. There you go, Scorpio, right there. See there? See, Scorpio, this is the thing. They never, never, never thought that you was going to actually, for real, for real, leave them alone. Because you was always there. So they like, damn, Scorpio is blowing up. She's doing her shit. She's single. She's independent. She's beautiful. And she left my ass alone. So this is why this person watches you. They're not just watching your picture, Scorpio. They watching you, honey. And it makes them even more regretful because they did not choose you. And I feel like it kind of saved you, Scorpio, because this is some hidden shit that you probably didn't even know this person was going through. They didn't tell you this. This is some shit you found out after the fact. Now, your next card, Scorpio, says, I may not be good enough for you. You seem to have high standards. You're goddamn right. This person say you got high standards now that they watching you, Scorpio. If they ever didn't tell you that in the past because they sure didn't treat you like you had high standards. But goddamn it, they got to treat you like you got high standards now, Scorpio, because you're no longer with this person. You're doing very good and they're aware of it while they're full of misery, uh, suffering, and pain. You doing good, Scorpio. Clarify this card for Scorpio's person, please. See, we have the Tower card here. That's Aries and Scorpio here. See, this person may have lost a lot of things in, in their life since you left them, Scorpio, or since you finally decided to pull your energy back. I feel like this person, I feel like when you ended it, when the death card, either they ended a Scorpio I feel like if this person ended in Scorpio, then you went on eventually and you pulled back totally from this person. And I feel like things have not been the same for this person. So now you may be have a, a higher advantage. Scorpio, you may have come and surpassed this person. You may be way much more successful than this person. This person obviously is in a loveless relationship while they seeing you single and you can do whatever the hell you want to do and you're not chasing after them, Scorpio. So I feel like this is a, is a hard pill for them to swallow, Scorpio. This is a surprise because they thought Scorpio would always be there. Now they're looking at you like you're out of their reach, Scorpio, because they feel like, damn, it's over. Scorpio don't want me. Damn, Scorpio too good for me now. And, and probably is until you do some, some healing. Clarify the tower card for Scorpio's person, please. See? Now you have a ten of wands. This person is going through it, Scorpio. It's like the, the higher you elevated to Scorpio, the, the, the lower they, they dropped, Scorpio. They, they See... <laughs> Wherever they're at, whoever they're with, it is a burden to them. They, they don't think they can go on. This is too much for your person because they're not, they're not happy where they're at. But at the same time, Scorpio, they made their bed, so they're going to have to lie in it. This is not Scorpio's fault. Scorpio was just there to love them. But they had underlying issues, Scorpio. They had some type of childhood issues, Scorpio. They had codependent issues that, uh, that made them act very toxic, Scorpio. Now, your next card here for your person, what your person wants you to know, Scorpio, it says, I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. You goddamn right, Scorpio, is unforgettable. Now, they'll never forget you, Scorpio. You're unforgettable. But when you was with this person, they ghosted you. They wouldn't return your texts. I'm saying, you know, now, Scorpio, you know how they did. You, you know good and damn well how they did. Now, all of a sudden, you are unforgettable. But when you was chasing after they ass, they forgot you real quick. But, hey, we're going to let bygones be bygones since we see they suffering. And Scorpio is, is on her journey uh, way up to the top here. So let's clarify this card for your person, please. Clarify this energy for Scorpio's person, please. See there, Scorpio? This person is receiving karma. You see that shit? I'll always remember you. You are unforgettable. This Ain't this how you used to do them? 
You, one of the time you couldn't even get your mind off of this person, Scorpio. They was in your head and you was questioning your worth and all that shit. Now they, they receiving the same thing. Whatever they did to you, Scorpio, is being done back to them. But you came out of yours. See, they really didn't know the power of Scorpio. Scorpio could have helped them through a lot of things. But they didn't want Scorpio. They wanted the material world, Scorpio. But now they're receiving judgment, Scorpio. Now they're receiving some type of karma, Scorpio. But it's not because they are a horrible person. It's because this is the only way they can heal themselves from this, this hurt energy that they have. Because th this person has been carrying this on ever since they were a kid. So it's as if they never really matured. They just pretended like they matured, Scorpio. But really, you have a, a very hurt little boy inside a grown man's body, Scorpio. Clarify judgment for Scorpio's person, please. This is what they want you to know, Scorpio. See? Clarify judgment is the nine of wands. See? They can't get to you now, Scorpio. It's like it's like it's a, it's a secret hidden blockage between the two of you. This is their karma because you try you try so hard to be with this person, Scorpio, but they blocked they blocked the love that you have for them, Scorpio. Now in return, their judgment is that now on the they blocked the they blocked your love, Scorpio. Now you block their love, Scorpio. They can't even get to you. You're out of their reach now, Scorpio. This person may have belittled you, put you down, made you feel like you were worthless and all that shit. Now they trying to give you your worth, Scorpio. But it's you like, look, I don't really care now. You, you know, you, you guard it. You, do, you don't really care now, Scorpio. Because this person is going through a lot. This person is surrounded by chaos and confusion here. I feel like this person just got too much conflict around them. Just, it's just too many burns around this person. This person is 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 damn near borderline um uh anxiety. This person has some type of mental issue, Scorpio. I feel like this person has carried this ever since they were a kid because they didn't get it addressed. You know, men don't open up about childhood wounds now. So I feel like this person just 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 put on this mask and just went on through life and just tried to get along, fake it to the make it. Now your next card that your person wants you to know, Scorpio, it says this lifetime I did this lifetime didn't work out. Hopefully I can do it better next lifetime. Well, Scorpio, you guys are past life lovers, past life energies here. Clarify this card. What does this person mean? They feel like that is hopeless, Scorpio. They can't have you. This is what they want to do. They want to come to you, Scorpio, but there it's like they can't. It's like it's like the, the, the tactics that they use to push you away, Scorpio, is the same tactics that's keeping them from getting to you, Scorpio. That's what's happening, Scorpio. It's like they can't get to you, Scorpio, and it's for your own good. We have the magician card here. This person is wishful thinking, Scorpio. This is what they want. They really want you back, Scorpio, but they feel helpless. They can't do nothing. They can't do nothing, Scorpio. They can't do nothing but wish and look at your picture. That's all. Clarify this magician card. See? Three of Cups. They would love to renew and go out with you, Scorpio. But you see, it's three people in here. Whew. This person needs to just hang it up. It's like... They 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 feel like it's over. They don't have a chance with you, Scorpio, but they can't seem to let you go because they keep on still hoping. They still trying to think of a way that they still can be with you, Scorpio, but it's still not healthy because it's still three cups here. That was the problem. Scorpio don't need three cups. Shit. Now this next card, it says, You deserve to be loved. You are very special. Scorpio, did this person ever tell you that you were special? Where they're telling you now, they want you to know that you, you deserve love. You, you're very special, Scorpio. And you're very special to them too, Scorpio. Regardless of what went on. Clarify this card for Scorpio's person, please. See there? Three of Swords. This is why they're saying you deserve to be loved. Because they feel like they dropped the ball, Scorpio. They know they did, Scorpio. They know it. This is why this person feel like, look, fuck it. I done messed up this lifetime. Hopefully the next lifetime we can do it. 
You deserve to be loved, Scorpio. You are very special. Yes, Scorpio deserve to be loved. And this person knows it. This is why this person is regretful. This is why this person has anxiety now, Scorpio. This is why this person is blocked from getting to you. This is why this person is under judgment. Because they knew that you were special. They knew you deserved love, but they didn't give you that. They gave you hurt. They broke your heart instead, Scorpio. Clarify this three of swords, please, for Scorpio's person. But Scorpio, you healing your heart. This person still has a broken heart. This person probably going on to the next person in another third party heartbreak. And the cycle will continue with them until they fully heal. Clarify three of swords for Scorpio's person, please. See, Scorpio, you got this four of wands. They say you deserve, you deserve the world, Scorpio. You deserve a very true love and committed relationship that they just could not give you, Scorpio. Ain't that some shit? Whew. They say you deserve everything that they did not give you, Scorpio. You deserve it. Now, this last card, Scorpio, it said it's hard because we can't seem to work out our differences here. Now, either this is pertaining to you and them, Scorpio, or them and whoever they're with with their children here. So I feel like, I don't feel like this is for you, Scorpio. I feel like this is who they're with because they're under a lot of burdens in this Ten of Wands energy uh, because of these family issues that's affecting either from their childhood or because they're with someone that they have children with here, Scorpio. But I feel like there's not enough love between them if they was together for monetary gain, but there was no love there, Scorpio. They love you, but they can't have you. So clarify, it's hard because we can't seem to work out our differences for Scorpio's person, please. What is this about? Clarify this card, please. See, we got the hangman. No, they can't... You so I don't, I don't think this is for you, Scorpio. I think this is where they're at. They're stuck. This person, it ain't no movement in their life. They're not going to make a move. They can. They're just hung. They're stuck wherever they're at, Scorpio, wherever they chose. I feel like they chose the other person because it was more comfortable for them. It wasn't challenging like you, Scorpio. See, Scorpio's introspect, Scorpio deals with emotions. It's almost as if Scorpio always try to therapize you, you know, but Scorpio don't do it intentionally. Scorpio just be trying to get to the root of the matter to help you some kind of way. But a lot of people don't want to see that side. People don't want to be exposed because once you expose, then healing comes in. So I feel like whether this is pertaining to you or whoever they're with, there is no movement in there. It's just hung in suspension. It's just restricted. It's just stagnation. It ain't nothing going nowhere. It's just that they go through the same routine, the same old shit every day, every week, every month, every year. They get nowhere, but they it's a burden to them. And like they said, I don't think I can handle this anymore. They're tired of being there, but I feel like they're stuck there. So clarify the hangman for Scorpio's person, please. See, you got the justice card here. There is no fairness. This person may be being mistreated here. This person's energy is imbalanced as well, Scorpio. Wherever this person is at, they're not being treated fairly here. I feel like this person is not being treated fairly. I feel like this person is surrounded by a lot of negative people here. This person, this pro this person probably works a lot, take care of home. Why the people they're involved with sit on their ass and keep up strife and confusion. So they can't handle it. It's too much for them. But this is what they this is this look, this is what they sold. Clarify justice for Scorpio's person, please. See, Scorpio, you have the ace of cups. The ace of cups here. This person is not being treated fairly, Scorpio. This person feels like the only thing that can balance them is if they had a if they had a new beginning in love because they don't like where they're at. It's hard because we can't seem to work out our differences. They don't want to be there. They I feel like they don't want to be there. <laughs> they don't want to be there. Either they want to disconnect from this connection through the through, through the uh, court system, Scorpio. 
so that they can have a brand new beginning for you. This is who they want. They want you, Scorpio, but shit is <laughs> shit is too rocky where they at. I mean, <laughs> shit is out of control where they're at, Scorpio, and, and it ain't got nothing to do with you. This is this, this is the shit that that they sold here. It says, uh, trying to gather up the courage to get in contact with you. Here's the next card, Scorpio. This person is trying to gather the courage to get in contact with you, Scorpio, because they're embarrassed. And it says, how can you love me after I fucked everything up with our connection? Scorpio, how can you love this person after they fucked up everything in the connection? Scorpio might be saying, oh, I don't love you no more. <laughs> you love this person, Scorpio. You just don't want the F shit. I thought the grass was going to be green on the other side, but it wasn't. And they're stuck there now, Scorpio. They're stuck over there. They think you have somebody else, Scorpio. I'm happy for you. They're not happy for you. That's some bullshit. And the last one, just know that I am sorry, Scorpio. They're sorry, Scorpio. They're regretful, Scorpio. They are. They're regretful because that's the choice that they made and they have to live with it while they watch Scorpio glow up and do Scorpio things because they could have been a part of that if they would have just been honest and did it right, but they didn't. So now your two cards that I pulled for, for your money and the law of attraction card, Scorpio. The first card we have is, I can see my world through the eyes of source. I can see the world through the eyes of source here. It says, by choosing better feeling thoughts and by speaking more of what you do want and less of what you do not want, you would gently tune yourself to the vibrational frequency of your broader perspective. To see your world through the eyes of source is truly the most spectacular view of life. For from that vibrational vantage point, you are in alignment with and therefore in the process of attracting only what you would consider to be the very best of your world, Scorpio. It's out of focus. Ooh, my stomach, forgive me. Your next card, Scorpio, says, rather than complaining, I will focus on positive aspects. It says, when you focus upon lack in an attitude of complaining, you establish a vibrational point of attraction that only gives you access to more thoughts of complaint. Your deliberate effort will, to tell a new story will establish a new pattern of thought providing you with a new point of attraction from your present about your past and into your future. The simple effort of looking for positive aspects will set a new vibrational tone that will begin the immediate attraction of thoughts, people, circumstances, and things that are pleasing to you. All right, Scorpio. All right, my lovely Scorpio, this has been your reading. If it resonates with you guys, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpio.